We got our first order yesterday! Of all the days for the internet to not be working, are you kidding me? <laughs> I got my bookmark tassels. Oh no. I think I give up. Happy Tuesday! I'm being kind of quiet because, well, my brother-in-law is still sleeping, even though it's 10 a.m., and my mother-in-law's home. So I'm trying to get this in before she starts running the vacuum, but we got our first door yesterday! So I didn't see it until I was in bed, but at like 9.30 at night, somebody ordered one of the magnetic bookmarks. They ordered this. I'm really excited. That's the only thing they ordered. So it's a very, very small, package i'm going to pack it up and this is the part where i was like freaking out because like unlike other creators i don't really have any branded packaging or anything i don't have tissue paper i don't really have like nice stuff i just have glassine bags that i put stuff in and i have some like packaging stickers and washi tape but i'm excited <laughs> So I am going to pack that up really quick, but I just wanted to tell you because I thought that was fun. Uh, but I'll talk to you in like a minute here. <laughs> of all the days for the internet to not be working, are you kidding me? Oh my god. And it's definitely not working <laughs> because as you can see we have the beautiful exclamation point next to the Wi-Fi. So the order's packed, the internet is still not on. It's gonna be a really long day. I wanted to get the vlog uploaded, but I can't because I don't want to kill my data usage using my phone to upload like a who knows how many gigs video to YouTube. So that's just gonna have to wait. Thankfully, I was able to use my mobile hotspot data to do the Etsy label and stuff and get all that sorted out, but as far as what I'm gonna do without internet for the rest of the day? I could read <laughs> or make something. I don't necessarily need internet access to make something with Inkscape or draw. I could study for my exam. Many choices. So it's well into the afternoon now. It's almost 2 p.m. and the internet hasn't come back on and I didn't realize that Cricut Design Space and some of my other apps like Notion, most of my apps for productivity don't work unless there's like an internet connection. So there really hasn't been much headway as far as work stuff goes. And I don't know when the internet's gonna come back on. I don't know when I'm gonna be able to upload my video for tomorrow. So I'm trying to keep busy as best as I can. I still haven't studied. I really need to study. I'm kind of just doing like a little stuff here and there. I'll, I'll be really honest, I spent about a good chunk of the morning into the early afternoon like on TikTok. <laughs> so I haven't really done anything. I'm not really sure what else to do today to be honest, except maybe do little bits of cleaning here and there, maybe go through, well I don't really want to do any video editing if I can't go online. What a day. See this would be the perfect time to draw. It's actually a gorgeous day outside and I kind of feel bad that I didn't plan a little bit better. But at the same time, like, I didn't know that the internet was going to be out. I didn't know <laughs> there was going to be people home. And I'm not a super spontaneous person who just randomly does stuff. Except for one time. One time I went to Home Depot for rose gold spray paint. But that was just one time. <laughs> I'll keep updating you if there's anything to update you on. But so far, nothing. So I ended up sleeping in this morning because we didn't get to bed until later last night. And like, I could totally go to bed before my husband does, but it's like, I'm a light sleeper. So when he crawls in, you're going to hear that a lot. My brother-in-law's like got a chest cold and he just keeps coughing and coughing, which is why I started vlogging. 
because I'm trying to study for my life in the UK test. Okay, but anyway, so I'm a light sleeper. My husband doesn't like to come to bed early because he likes to play video games and like that's his way of winding down for the night, which I totally get. But as somebody who's a light sleeper, I will be like asleep and then he'll crawl into bed and then I'll just instantly wake up. It's like super annoying. Uh, coupled with the fact that because I have misophonia, his, um, <laughs> him putting his cup down on his coaster or like him wheeling his chair across the floor, like keeps me awake. So it's like really hard to just go to bed at a decent hour because we share the same bedroom and like leisure space basically. So like I said, I'm trying to study for my life in the UK test, which I'm going to be taking in the fall and it's hard because even though it's only my brother-in-law here, as you can maybe probably hear, he's sick and he's just coughing and like sputtering and like hacking up a lung and I don't have anywhere in the house to really go that's comfortable and warm and, you know, has Wi-Fi. <laughs> so I have my headphones on because I need to really start buckling down and studying this material because there are five chapters, but chapters are up to 12 sections long, some of them. Chapter 5 specifically is 12 sections long. It's lengthy material, but the thing is, the test is only 45 minutes and 24 questions. As long as I understand it and know the material, it's like taking a history exam in school. But it's hard to concentrate today. I originally was supposed to go to the gym this morning, but I just didn't get enough sleep. I was like up most of the night, like in and out of sleep. So I was like, screw it. I'm just going to cancel my gym class and maybe go in the afternoon. I thought about going when I got up at like 945, but because I'm waiting on the postman to take my order, I don't really want to go anywhere. And plus I have like two things coming in the mail today and possibly even three. I'm just going to chill and I'm going to try and study. I also thought about switching out my wardrobe today, but I don't know if I'm going to get around to doing that today or not. I'm basically just waiting for the postman. Like, does anybody else have that sort of weird... I see this a lot on like ADHD or autism TikTok. I haven't been assessed for either of those things and I don't want to be like one of those people who just self-assesses and believes that they have it. But I see that a lot, that people have this sort of like beating around the bush sort of way of... <laughs> not getting to their task right away unless the one thing that they're waiting for happens <laughs> so i don't know um but yeah i'm gonna get back to this because i'm on chapter three and i would actually like to read through all of this material because i think i've only ever gotten to chapter three before but yeah got my postman oh <gasps> it's the postman it's the postman i gotta go <laughs> Mm -hmm. That's adorable. Ooh, that'll be nice for summer. Okay, that's actually kind of cute. That's cute. Now I gotta wash everything. Excuse the acne sticker and the birds. I think there might be baby birds up in there. As we all know, my phone does not like to work very well when it's in its case. The sound quality is always crap. So a lot of this is going to be done either over voiceover or with music laid on top of it. But I'm in the garage right now and my goal is to start looking at my wardrobe for the spring and summer. Because even though it's like cloudy and gross and stuff <laughs> during the summer over here in Ireland, it still does get pretty warm. And so I just want to make sure that my closet isn't entirely sweaters or jumpers. So I'm going to go through that. But I have a goal in mind and the goal is... To get rid of some things so luckily my gym is like right across the street from a donation bin so <laughs> my goal is to fill this up or at least fill up as much as as much of it as I can to get rid of some things because the thing is I, I gained weight I don't know when I'm ever going to be a smaller size if I ever am a smaller size ever again and I have clothes from when I was in my early 20s and I don't know if I'm ever going to be that thin again. And I can't just keep holding on to clothes and hoping that I'll sell them. So my goal is to just get rid of the old clothes that I'm never going to wear. I'm keeping my Lolita clothes for now. Uh, maybe I'll try and sell them at some point, uh, but I do want to keep them. 
Uh, but anyway, so the goal is to look through these and see what I'm going to get rid of because I have to switch out my wardrobe, but it's probably going to be a, like a multiple day process because my brother-in-law's home and I just don't like doing things when he, like he's around because like it's just, he gets in my way. <laughs> so I'm going to do this now. I'm making through the growing pains Just in your room and no go away Some things are here to stay So they tell me Lost myself yesterday Back on track and now I'm on my way So you tell me I think I did gym in the afternoon but I did cancel this morning so I kind of still want to go <laughs> the interesting thing about my gym is that it's open from 6 to 12 and then it closes and then it reopens at 4 so I'm thinking I'm gonna go for a 4 30 workout today so I am eating some carbs now it's two o'clock so I have about two hours two hours and 15 ish minutes to just like chill and eat I did <laughs> A lot of stuff with my clothes I still have clothes to hang up there's clothes on the line and in the washer productive day not shop wise but productive life wise <laughs> and that's okay not everything has to be about the Etsy shop so I'm going to eat my food and enjoy and I'll talk to you soon I'm having peaches and a peanut butter and jelly sandwich <laughs> and a nice coffee <laughs> Thursday. So as you can hear, the printer's going because I need to make sticker packs, or rather, more like sticker decal sheets, except um, when I restuck the mats last week, I restuck them a little bit too good. <laughs> oh, hold on, let me let me put another paper in this, the printer real quick. So like I said, when I restuck my Cricut mats last week, I wasn't really paying attention to how beaded up the glue was whenever I was resticking them. So unfortunately they're a bit too goopy. They're good for like, I basically made strong grip mats <laughs> is what it boils down to. I do have a mat that's losing its stickiness. So I'll have to use that. I also have to figure out which setting to use on the Cricut because I'm using weatherproof sticker paper, but I'm also laminating them with some hollow or iridescent laminate to give them some sparkle and shine. And I have a hard time figuring out what the Cricut wants to cut 
because washi tape setting seems a little bit too low but like the sticker sheet the actual the Cricut sticker sheet setting is too high and it like cuts through to the backing of the paper and so well here let me just show you yeah it was a bit of a mess these are gonna be b greats i'll probably put them in the oops mystery bags at some point i am terribly sore so i didn't exactly cap off yesterday's vlog but what ended up happening was i ended up taking a nap between like three and five yesterday except because i knew i had to get up and not be late for the gym i couldn't really have a good nap so i ended up waking up to go to the bathroom and then i was like well maybe i'll try and fall back asleep but then my then my father-in-law came home and like when he comes home it's always so loud because he has to greet the dog and it's like there's nothing wrong with that you can greet your pets and everything but it's just like i'm trying to find a nap but he didn't know that so it's it's not his fault it's just me it's me i'm the problem it's me i am never going to the gym again in the afternoon because it was so busy i got in there and there was a class going on and i don't think my usual spot was taken but it like there was a boy or maybe he was older i don't know he looked like a child though to me <laughs> but he was like wandering around like that sort of back end area and i was like are, do you are you settling down in one of the squat racks or like what are you doing so i don't know i chose one that he wasn't near and i did my workout and it was legs and it was really painful <laughs> it was really really painful and i am like really really sore in every bone in my body <laughs> Also, I just answered the door before I started the vlog and I got my bookmark tassels. So we're gonna open those. Sitting down is really hard. I'm really happy. I'm hoping that I got all the colors that I needed. Yes, the champagne-y sort of one that I was after, but the one that we really needed was this one. This sort of, I wonder if that's the same color. Is it the, the same? It looks the same. I hope it's the same, but you never know when you order online. Oh no. They're a little bit darker, and by a little bit, I mean a lot of it. They'll still work. I wasn't expecting them to be that much darker. So this is the attached one, right? I wonder if that's the watermelon color, and this is the rose red color that I ordered. It's a little bit hard to see. Oh man, it probably was watermelon red shoot not that i'm expecting a ton of people to be ordering bookmarks with tassels or anything but that's such a bummer i'm a little sad now and then i got black sky blue lilac dark purple that sort of champagne -y pink yellow and this color i'm gonna put that watermelon red color in my cart so i know for later i think i give up because i bought a very specific cut of online labels waterproof paper i have to be really careful of where the design lands in cricut design space and that's totally my fault so like one sheet would be fricked out of each batch and i just i can't and the laminating it's a pain in my ass i think i think i'm just gonna use the waterproof paper for what i originally meant them to be and that's like individual stickers so like i'm not gonna make any more though for it this launch because i'm actually exhausted and tired of just i'm tired <laughs> a lot of b-grade things are going up i don't know if i'm going to sell these at all in the launch i think these are just going to go in oops bags and just be rid of them what i really need to do now is get some product photography done so i have to completely clear off my window sill here i have to just tidy up in general because the mess is kind of irking me <laughs> and it's making me like not want to work so i'm gonna tidy up here off camera because i i know some people like to put cleaning and stuff in as content for their vlogs and stuff but that to me is just a little bit like i, I always skip through it <laughs> i usually skim through it unless they have a really nice song playing and also um i don't really want you to see how i live <laughs> I'll see you back when I get the window sill cleared off and we start doing product photography. Okay. <laughs> I know it doesn't look like much, but once the pictures are taken, it actually looks pretty good. So I need this window sill here. So it adds a little bit of natural light, but not really. I have two lights here that I shine on everything. 
this is just scrapbook paper so it's like a 30 centimeter by 30 centimeter scrapbook paper pad and then these things here i bought these off of aliexpress you can get them from the rainforest store but it'll cost you an arm and a leg these were like three bucks i think for both of them this is from the rainforest store as well i have two of them that's just a heart shape it doesn't completely cover this but in the listing you won't see that i just wanted some like texture and stuff so yeah i'm gonna take some photos now <laughs> Like, look at that. That's without retouching or anything. I just have cosmetics holding up my bookmarks. You can't see them from the front. Yeah, I just use whatever I can to hold them up. You can also use the six inch scrapbooks too. You just have to get like in really, really close. <laughs> but I have the keychain up on this other, this is also a backdrop holder for small photography. But I just have it sitting there so it's like suspended so I can get like little dangling videos and stuff because Pinterest and Etsy let you use videos in your listings. They say it makes a difference, but I don't think it really does. I have everything put in here. Everything's on the computer. There are 200 photos. Obviously, I'm not going to use them all. I'm also a lazy So what I'm going to do and I'm going to show you is how I bulk edit and watermark all of my product photography so you see down here and my taskbar well i don't know why the mark is gone but <laughs> there's these two quote unquote oh they're not really programs but a cool thing about chrome i think maybe you can do it in other browsers too but say you go to a website and you want to not necessarily bookmark it but be able to like come back to it anytime you can save and share it create a shortcut and then a box will pop up. Let me just do that. Let me just show you what I mean here. I like this one bulk photo brightness editor. So it's this website here. It's from Pine Tools. It's really nice. It just really quickly does a bunch of photos at a time. Go over to share and save or save and share. Create a shortcut. This window pops up. Tick open as a window and then hit create. And then what it's going to do is anytime you click on it, it opens up kind of like a program or an app on your computer and it's just so easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all my files into here first and then I use this other app. I think this maybe I got off of the Windows Store. I'm not really sure, but it's bulk editor. This pops up like this little kitty cat. So it just makes everything easy and I have my watermark already in the program and after I'm done bulk brightening the photos, I just do this. I just think it's so much easier <laughs> than manually doing every single photo that I'm gonna do. What I used to do was I used to go into Clip Studio Paint because that's where my watermark is a pattern and I used to do it that way, but it's just a thousand times easier and quicker to do it this way. And let's see, let's do it in real time, actually. Let's do it in real time, shall we? I've already weeded out the pictures that I want to use so I'm just going to hit Control A to select everything hit open there's 25 files I have it set to upping the brightness to 50% and then I just hit download zip file it's going to take a minute because it is processing the files right now so I'm just going to wait just a minute here see done so I'm going to go back into that same folder just save it done go into the folder there's a zip file extract the images okay so there's that new tool there's that new file folder see everything's much brighter now so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our images that we have brightened and we're going to open up this other app and then i have to remember how to do this we're going to open up where we want our files saved to so i want my new stuff to be saved in here so i'm going to put watermarked and then i'm going to go in here and i'm going to get photos that i want to apply and then add a folder so it's this one so i'll add that folder and then all the photos are going to pop up. Do we want to hit them all? Yes, I want to select them all. Select them all. Oh, that's right. I have to hit apply. <laughs> Whoops. It's a little confusing. See, and then that's in real time. 
kind of cool. So now they're all done and watermarked. And they're all in the folder. Easy freaking peasy. How long did that take? Like five minutes? <laughs> all right, finally. All of the product photography's done. All of the listings are put up. All of the descriptions are put up. Everything I could think of to do is finished. So now we play the waiting game. Those are sneak peeks, by the way. They're not for sale yet. I am so tired. <laughs> the only thing I have left to do is start making content to start blasting over the next week so that I can advertise for this launch. I, like I said, I don't expect it to be massive or anything because I'm very, very small. Even if I get like one or two sales during the next month, that would be nice. And then I have to start planning for the pride launch, which is coming in like the end of May. <laughs> So I have maybe like a week or two to just relax, unless I get like a bunch of orders, which I'm not expecting. But um, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty proud of all these products, even though most of them are print on demand. I know, I get it, but I think they're cute. <laughs> and I hope you do too. So nothing much of note happened on the Friday that I filmed. So I'm just going to tack those little snippets onto next week's vlog. And also I ended up pushing the shop launch update because Etsy put out a coupon code that I wanted to take advantage of for UK customers. Not that it really made much of a difference, but instead of the shop update being May 1st, I just kind of winged it. <laughs> so anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in next week's vlog. Bye-bye.